Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem 27 in chapter 19. Chapter 19 is about heat, the first law of thermodynamics. So now we look at this system. We have the miracle. The mass is given at zero, 1 kg, right? 1 kilogram. And also we know its specific heat is zero. Now we need to determine the latent heat for fusion for miracle following the these uh, systems. So we can see this is uh, we don't know, we need to find it. And then we can see we, this uh, miracle finally reaches to temperature 5.06 centigrade. Do you agree? Yes. So this is called Q1, right? And then in this uh, system, we have another material called aluminum. And the mass is given, and also the specific heat is given. And this aluminum also changes temperature from 12.8 centigrade to final temperature. And in this uh, system, we have another material called water. As you can see, the mass of the water is uh, there. We can write it there. And the specific heat for water is also there. And the temperature changes also from 12.8 centigrade to final temperature. So this is a whole process. And we can consider the energy is conserved in this system. Agree? Yes. So you can see the energy released by the miracle just equal to the energy absorbed by the aluminum and the water. Right? So we can see now the temperature changes from the miracle is 31 use a final temperature minus initial temperature zero. And also the temperature changes for the Q2 and Q3 are same. So 32 equal to 33 at zero, right? Now we can see how can we solve the problems. The first part the, we can write the Q1, the heat released by the miracle. And it tells us at the mass of a miracle, it is one kilogram, it is a solid, right? At its melting point. So this one is a melting point. So we can see, and in this case, we can find the, what, the fueling heat. Just use the mass times the fueling constant. At this point, it become liquid miracle, right? And then from liquid miracle, the temperature changes to final temperature. Can you find the heat? Yes, Cm T. Agree? Yes. So this is equal to Q1. And similarly, we can find Q2 as Cm T2. And then the Q3 as Cm T3. And Q2 is for aluminum. Q3 is for water. Finally, we can write the energy is conserved. Q1 equal to Q2 plus Q3, and then input all this Q1, Q2, Q3 in these functions. You can solve the equation. Get the fluid constant L miracle equal to the final answer there. Thank you.